Former President Donald Trump announced that he supports a state-by-state -state approach to abortion Monday. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Trump then went on Truth Social to say that one of his closest allies in the Senate, Lindsey Graham, is doing a great disservice to the Republican Party and country by wanting a national 15-week ban. In 2022, Graham introduced a bill that would ban abortion after 15 weeks with exceptions for rape, incest, or risk to the health of the mother. Graham has previously said that he would reintroduce the bill before the November elections. The state's rights approach, uh, to me, um, you sort of abandon the, your position on late-term abortion. Graham explained his stance, saying 15 weeks is the point at which a baby in the womb can feel pain. I think Trump is right in this regard. It's a state issue up to a point. And as that child develops, I think the American people find a consensus around 15 weeks that they'd like to limit abortion. Republicans SAN spoke with on Capitol Hill say they agree with President Trump's announcement. They say it's consistent with what the American people want and aligned with the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision. The Supreme Court has turned it back over to voters. We've got to let voters sort through this. This is a tough issue. It's a complex issue. And I think for those of us who are pro-life, we've got to go out and make that moral case to voters. President Trump's comments yesterday are anything but extreme. They are mainstream. Democrats, including President Biden, say if Republicans gain control of Congress and the White House after November's elections, they'll pass a national abortion ban and President Trump would sign it. The Trump smokescreen simply is a disguise for a Republican strategy and plan to pass a national abortion ban. They've made it clear, and that's why this election is so urgently important. I, I don't know where he stands on this issue. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that he's trying to find the best political position to help him in November. According to the New York Times, since the 2022 Dobbs decision, 21 states have enacted abortion restrictions earlier in pregnancy than the standards set by Roe v. Wade. 26 states have kept abortion legal or enacted new protections, and three states have had their bans blocked in court. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.